the opposite of random sampling is non-random sampling. In non-random sampling, you don't select people randomly. You either select the population members that you would like to include in your sample, or you let people who say that they would like to be in your sample be in your sample. If you use non-random sampling, then not everyone in the population has an equal chance of being selected. If I am walking up to people in a public location, such as a, at a college campus, and asking people to take a survey, then I am using non-random sampling. It might seem random, but it is, it is actually not random because not everyone has the same chance of being selected. I am probably going to ask people who seem more friendly, or who look like they would be more willing to take my survey. I'm probably not going to ask other people who look less friendly, or who look like they would be less willing to take my survey. Also, if I put out an advertisement that says that I need people who are willing to take a survey, then I'm using non-random sampling, because not everyone has an equal chance of being selected. Only the people who read the advertisement and are interested enough to contact me will be included in my sample. Non, um, random sampling is sometimes called probability sampling, and non-random sampling is sometimes called non-probability sampling. The reason why these terms are used is because random sampling gives all population members an equal chance of being selected, and non-random sampling does not give all population members an equal chance of being selected.